Hello, this is Candace, a life coach with MySpockLife.com. Thank you for joining our Good Book series. Today's Good Book is The Art of Procrastination by John Perry. You know, I happen to be a procrastinator. I know most people are, but I just wanted to pick up this book and read and see if he had any tips to help me overcome procrastination a little bit easier. And he did. You know, it's kind of a humorous book. And I enjoyed reading it because he took a lighthearted view to procrastination and his flaw. You know, all of us can compare ourselves to one another and say, well, I don't have this problem or my problem is not as bad as theirs. But we all face something in life that may or may not be a significant flaw. And one thing that John Perry says in his book is that, you know, I'm not giving you an excuse to just sit around and say, well, that's how I am and not do anything. He said, just realize that procrastination is not the worst flaw in the world. You can be a procrastinator and still get a lot of work done. And you know, I find this is true. I live a very regimented life, but the projects that I put off, like making these videos, I enjoy making them, but I do put them off. But then when I get them done, I feel so good. And it's not a big deal putting them off because I know that eventually it will get work done. So one thing that we can do, he said, is that we can form collaborations that will prevent us from never accomplishing anything. For example, if I have an article to write, I must realize that I'm writing it for someone who has a deadline and I don't want them to be behind. So therefore, I feel a little bit more motivated to help them save face by getting my work done. Whatever we can do to trick ourselves and manipulate ourselves will help us to become less of a procrastinator. John Perry gives us a way of making lists. He said instead of putting the most important things at the top, or maybe instead of putting the least important things at the top, we can put things that need to be done and that will be done and that we will automatically do at the top. And therefore we can look at our list and see, hey, we've gotten things done. So that leads us to the next thing we need to do. Another thing we can do is break down tasks. I myself have found this to be very effective. If I break down a task such as I need to go on vacation and as vacation comes closer and closer, I find that I have not done anything to prepare for it. If I tell myself, okay, all I'm going to do is find a hotel for the first three nights and I can do that in the next 15 minutes, then bam, I got that task done. I can spend 15 minutes doing that. Whatever the task is, if we can break it down into small, manageable chunks, we can find ourselves accomplishing more. So good luck in breaking your procrastination. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. You can follow us, subscribe, and check out our website at www.myspocklife.com Thank you for watching.